Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be diving into my February beauty favorites. I actually have a pretty decent size uh, favorites for the month of February. So I don't want to take too much time of just chatting now. I really want to get into this. It's going to be a good one. And there are a lot of skincare items in this one. So let's get started. All right, so first up, I did mention a lot of skincare products. So I'm kind of just going to jump right into that realm. And the first item I'm going to talk about is the, I believe it's the Ol, Ole Henriksen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Shame on me. But it's the Pore Balance um, Facial Sauna Scrub. Now, this scrub was actually suggested to me by another influencer, and I know that she uses this, and I looked up the ingredients, and I see that it does have AHAs in them, and that was one of the main ingredients that I was looking for. Um, I did take a close-up image of my makeup one day, and I noticed that I had like a cluster of tiny bumps on my nose and I wasn't sure what that was from but of course when you see me you don't necessarily see it in my makeup so I was a little weary of what it was and I looked up AHAs were extremely important in possibly helping to reduce those bumps and I definitely wanted to make sure that I was getting a scrub that had them in it so this is why I opted for the pore balance facial sauna scrub now this scrub has volcanic sand Green Fusion Complex Neem Seed Oil AHAs, and it's absolutely amazing. I love how my skin feels after. It legit feels super soft like a baby's butt. Like this scrub is the business. So you are supposed to apply this to clean, damp skin and gently massage in an upward circular motion. Rinse thoroughly, use two to three times per week. And then you're supposed to follow with a toner. In this case, it's supposed to be the old Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. However, I use whatever it is that I'm gonna use. But I absolutely love the way this makes my skin feel. And I do notice a reduction in the bumps on my nose, which I'm super happy about. So I'm definitely gonna keep using this and I'm hoping that as I continue to use it, I am gonna see better results. I also like that this does heat up a little bit and it does cool. So it's a very weird sensation, but at the same time, I absolutely love the way it makes my skin feel. So I definitely had to include this in my February favorites. The next product I'm gonna include is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Um, I Continuing on the um, discussion about the bumps that I was noticing around like my nose and like on the tops of my cheek area, this was another product that I was looking at to help me get rid of those bumps in particular. So this is a clinical formulation with integrity. It is a glycolic acid solution. And what glycolic acid does and what AHAs do is that they help with cell turnover. So they really help to make sure that you're exfoliating that dead skin so that you are revealing a brighter, smoother complexion underneath. Now this product you're supposed to use ideally in the evenings, no more frequently than once per day. So this product, I definitely use it at night just because that is what the product pack packaging suggests. I. I'm a little shook to use it during the daytime, so I'm not even gonna chance it, but I have a feeling that because it is helping with that cell turnover, it does have something to do with that. Of course, anytime you are using something like a glycolic or lactic acid or anything that has AHAs in it, you always wanna make sure that you are using sun protection. I feel like my skin does look brighter in, um, when I wake up in the morning, which I am super happy about, and I can go out and be makeup free and be good. Definitely have been using this consistently and I'm going to continue to do so. My next items in my uh, skincare portion are both from Glow Recipe. I'll start with the older product first. It is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. There we go. Now this mask has, um, it's for glowing radiance and softening. It does have watermelon in it. I love this mask like I love the way my skin feels when I apply it what I like about it is the consistency 
It does have a light watermelon fragrance and a little bit goes a long way. But it definitely hydrates the skin. It definitely plumps the skin. My skin is super radiant in the morning, which I absolutely love. I love that. It also comes with a spatula, which is extremely important so that you don't have to dip your fingers in the jar, contaminating the product. And also a fun fact is that the jar itself is shaped like a melting ice cube. So cool. There are just so many great things about this product, but especially because I do wake up with a glowing and hydrated complexion and skin, absolutely bomb. The next item is newer from Glow Recipe. It is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now this is the newer item. I actually attended the event when they were first launching this item. And this is the daytime moisturizer. It really hydrates the skin. I feel like my skin um, doesn't get as oily when I am makeup free. Um, I love how it makes my skin feel. It has a very liquid like gel like lightweight consistency but my skin is super moisturized which is extremely important and this moisturizer is absolutely bomb i use about one to two pumps of this and i really work this into my skin and massage it in very light watermelon fragrance as well and my skin just looks so bomb once i'm done using it all right my final i guess skincare item is actually from my lips it is the elf cosmetics um lip exfoliator so i have two of these this is the brown sugar one and i do have the coconut fragrance one i love that these are very inexpensive and very easy to use you apply it as almost almost as if you're applying lipstick and it really helps exfoliate your lips and get off that dead skin so i absolutely love them very compact easy to drop in your bag they smell amazing this one is brown sugar and they really work like my lips are super smooth and I'm able to apply my matte lip and I have to worry about my lips looking cracked or dry because they are properly exfoliated and I also like that they have a little bit of oil in them as well to really just hydrate your lips and you know fi finish the job I guess after exfoliating all right my next favorite is going to be none other than the Stila cause I believe it's Stila the liquid eyeshadow the glitter and glow and kitten karma i have been wearing this shadow out um orpha which is one of my favorite um influencers tweeted a photo i think wearing this and i was like oh my god i have that and i haven't used it yet so i was like i'm just gonna use this and see what happens and this product is so long like the glitter payoff in this is stupid like ridiculous and i legit will just put a light transition shade into my crease and just apply this all over my lid and that is my eyeshadow look i will apply some liner maybe if i'm feeling like it but other than that i apply that all over the lid and i'm ready to go it is such a pretty color it has like coppery and silver um glitter in it and it dries down really well and i feel like once it dries into place i don't have to worry about like glitter fallout like legit i leave the house i can go out for hours and once i come back my shadow is still bomb it's still in place and it's still sparkly which i absolutely love my next favorite is the maybelline total temptation mascara now this mascara i'm actually wearing it right now i love that it leaves the lashes soft and bouncy it doesn't make them hard um you can definitely notice a difference when you apply it even just from like one coat the wand itself is packed with bristles i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's packed with bristles and it has a light coconut fragrance it's super dark and I just love the way this mascara wears. It's so bomb. Like, I legit wear this by itself with no lashes, no false lashes or anything else because it's just that bomb. Like, it's just so much about this that I absolutely love. I'm not sure if it's the color or the way it lengthens and, like, really makes my lashes bold. And I love a super black mascara. Love it. And this mascara is just it. So bomb. 
it's like my packaging is a little dirty because she began to use a lot but yeah this mascara is so dope lastly i have the fenty beauty trophy wife highlighter i've been wearing this highlighter crazy this month it's like i alternate between la peach fenty beauty trophy wife and my maybelline master chrome but like this has been getting a lot of play this year and i i mean this Feb in the month of February. Jesus, what's happening right now? And I almost forgot how bomb this highlighter was. So yeah. It's so bomb. Like the highlight on this is just ridiculous. It's super smooth. It is a little yellowy, but I don't mind it. I just feel like it makes me look like gold. But I love the, the way the product feels. It's very easy to apply. And yeah, it's just like super bomb, this glow. I love to layer this one as well. So I will definitely use this and use Maybelline Master Chrome as well. It'd just be booming, booming. This was the first item that I put in my shopping cart when Fenty Beauty launched, cause I needed it that bad. That's it for my February beauty favorites. I really hope that you all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.